by the way, and friends, uh, to say goodbye to a long time uh, member of MMOA and someone who has done you know, a tremendous amount for all of us. Uh, Coco Ward and Angie and the family, who've been a big part of who we are, and it's both a happy and a sad day to see you uh, go on the bigger and better things. I, I do want to, out of obligation, say that uh, Master Sergeant Crisco also wants to say goodbye to y'all. He is uh, pulling duty back at the uh, head shed uh, for us. I know that uh, a lot of you in this room, some of you in this room, have uh, already. If you haven't received orders, you at least know where you're going uh, in the summer of 09. Uh, I happen to be one of those people, and if you like me, there's a certain sense of relief that comes along with knowing that you're going to move out of them away on to bigger and better things. Uh, I hope, and I think after the talk of Corporal Ward, uh, that he feels the same way. Uh, he spent uh, one tour right, in the Marine Corps, uh, as many uh, Marines do. Uh, but I am blessed, you are blessed, and this country is blessed with uh, many indiv individuals who make that choice to come in to the service of the country, Army, Navy, Air Force, Marine Corps, serve their country, take the experiences that they've uh, learned and earned, and go to something else uh, with their life. And in Corporal Ward's case, he's moving out to California and uh, finishing his education. He's going to become a teacher. And uh, I can't think of any better profession for this young man uh, to be involved in than teaching America's youth, particularly after being in the Marine Corps. And knowing what I know about this individual, he has literally uh, saved my behind. Uh, and I would say uh, Colonel Whiteley's and now uh, Lieutenant Colonel Gearing working in the two shop. And, and particularly, probably means nothing to you, but uh, to us in the air shop, the Scott Sergeant Navarro is what I'm talking about when I talk about ACIP. Uh, Corporal Ward, Corporal Ward was putting together paperwork and information and uh, spreadsheets that literally went to uh, the Secretary of Defense and Congress, uh, and it was his work that kept not only the two shop uh, but General Coleman uh, out of hot water uh, for much of the time that he was there. Uh, he was an expert at what he did. Uh, he did it well, and you know what? It was always a pleasure, as was the entire family uh, yeah. to have in Amelie Way. It's going to be very, uh, very sad to see you go. And we have a couple of things that we want to do. Uh, we want to read and award it, uh, and uh, the letter, and we have some presentos. So I, I, don't want, uh, I don't want anybody to stand, uh, but I want to ask that Pat Graham here read the. Uh, <laughs> ACIP program manager, Marine Corps Mobilization Command. I, I guess I forgot two people that he's, two additional folks that he saved, and that is the folks at Mo Comp and the individual folks whose pay were affected by, and lives were affected by the corrections that he made and was responsible for at OA. And I think it was awesome that they could remind the right to slow their heads and well Department of the Navy. We'll see you certify that the Secretary of the Navy has awarded the Navy and Marine Corps Achievement Medal to Jason E. Ward, United States Marine Corps. 
Four, present the professional achievement and superior performance of his duties while serving as unit diary chief and assistant aviation lieutenant colonel monitor, officer assignment branch manpower management division, manpower <coughs> department headquarters, United States Marine Corps, from September 2005 to February 2009. As a subject matter expert for the Aviation Career Incentive Pay Program, Corporal Ward found discrepancies that revealed more than $30,000 in misappropriation. He subsequently acted as liaison between the Marine Corps, Secretary of the Navy, and Defense Finance and Accounting Service to ensure corrective actions that minimize financial burdens to the effects to the affected officers. Corporal Ward also assisted in the assignment and reclassification of more than 700 lieutenant colonels, entered more than 10,000 administrative entries in the Marine Corps Total Force System, and audited more than 200 flight gate waivers. Corporal Ward's initiative, perseverance, and total dedication to duty reflect the credit upon him, and we're keeping him with the highest traditions of the Marine Corps and the United States Naval Service. Signed, James T. Conway, Commandant of the Marine Corps. With the nice certificate. Comes the medal, but I'm not going to hand it on. And before we let him uh, speak, we have a couple of uh, other things that uh, we need to give him. And one is the uh, traditional MMOA picture of ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's staying at home. Oh, that is nice. Yeah, and 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 actually, yes, Scott Sergeant Rich, thank you because he arranged and put together this for uh, uh, Corporal Ward as well as going away for the mission. So, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Since uh, Corporal Ward wants to become a teacher, uh, I went up and got a little present like a put in his desk. So, here's something that he... Thank you. What is it? 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 You can't run that show. Remind me to take one of my classes and get all these. Sticking with him this far, mm -hmm. uh, and good luck to you in your future endeavors. The floor is yours. Thank you. Well, I would just like to thank everyone for coming out. Uh, it's been an honor to serve uh, with each and every one of you, not only the Marines, but also the civilians. Um, I've had a good time. It's been a long three and a half years. Uh, but everyone helped me out when my family needed help or if I had to make an appointment. There was always somebody there. I really enjoyed my time. Everything that I learned, I definitely will bring with me. Uh, as a teacher, I'll probably send a couple of uh, kids this way. <laughs> but uh, I enjoyed all my time, and uh, thank you, everyone. I appreciate it. All right.